Hello everybody and welcome back to Building Tutorials. And today might be the final episode of the Minecraft Factory. So I've been working on building this for the past few episodes and I've gotten a lot done. I've gotten the parking lot done here. We got the entrance. I put the M on the front for Minecraft Factory so that way there's something there. I've got the smokestacks. We've got the roof. We got the lights, which I'm going to be working on that today. And last episode, I worked on building this, which is kind of like the entrance for the trucks. And over here is where the stuff is going to be coming out of. So right over here, we've got a bunch of creeper heads. Because last episode, I did a test where I was making a bunch of creeper heads. So those all went into that truck, which is good. So we know that that's working. So if we come inside, what are you doing here? Wait, what are you doing here? Uh, sir, uh, you're not allowed to, uh, be in here. Would you like to leave? Can you take your llamas and, uh, go somewhere else? Uh, okay, this, this might be a problem. I don't know what that guy's doing here. James, do you know what's going on here? I don't know. Apparently some random guy just walked in the factory. James is still here. He's gonna be the owner of this factory. Because he's basically survived all the episodes now. So what I want to do is I want to switch this up. So originally I was going to have this as like another entrance. But I think I'm going to get rid of this over here. And turn this into like the stuff that goes out. And then just have like two doors here. We have one that goes in and one that goes out. Just to make it a little easier. So this entire thing over here I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. And I'm going to block it up with... Uh, is this the right block? Yes, yeah, the right block. I'm going to block it up with the light gray terracotta here. And that way, we can kind of move all this stuff around. And hopefully, this won't cause too much of a problem. Because if I bring this across here, it's basically gonna get in the way of this right here. Because if I put those on top, because they count as like a full block, this is gonna get in the way. Because if I remove this, there's like redstone underneath here. So I wanted to put these slabs on top of here just to kind of cover it. So I think I'm going to leave the hoppers going over here. But I'm just going to send them um, out this way into where the truck's going to be. So the truck is going to be like right here. So if I go ahead and put the hoppers going in, into this block here. That'll be basically where the truck's going to be at. Yeah, so I'm just going to send these hoppers around the edge here. So if I go and connect this up to here. Which I need to... Oh, great. I didn't want to break that. I wanted to replace that. And now, let me just go ahead and put this back. That is connected. So, all the items are now going to be going out here into where the truck's going to be at. And I could technically do two, which is kind of what I wanted to do over here. So, over here, I wanted to change this so that we could have, like, two trucks coming in. The problem is I'm going to have to, like, change these tracks around so that it works properly. But basically, this track is going to be going on that side, and this track is going to be going on this side. So we can have two trucks pull up to here. We can grab supplies out of that one, throw it in there, and then we can get supplies out of another one, and then send it into here. So because I have the items going through hoppers, it kind of has to go to only one truck. So we're going to have just one truck coming out this way, and I don't really know where to send it. I guess I could send it to like the post office possibly or I could also just send it over to this place which I need to make this a little bit better this was kind of like the delivery I forgot what I called it I think it was like the delivery place or something it's basically all the trucks and stuff bring stuff in here this redstone I honestly don't remember what this activates but I could definitely improve this what is this even? Oh, this is for activating the tracks. Yeah. So I might do an episode where I work on improving this because this is not the uh, the best setup for like the delivery station. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to work on after the factories. I'm going to work on upgrading this kind of like transportation delivery system here. And basically connect it to here so that they work together. 
So that's what I'm going to do next episode. Today, I just want to finish this up so we can get it done. And we can officially make James over here the owner of the factory. So that'll be fun. Uh, so let's work on this door. This door should be working, right? Yeah, this door does work. That should be connected. And that should all be good. So now what I need to do is I need to basically block up all this redstone. Which I'll just leave the stuff that's down there. It should be fine. This should be working now. Let me do a, a quick test. So let's just say we got some redstone from uh, the truck. And we throw that. Oh, wait. No. Yep. Okay, don't do what I just did and throw a bunch of redstone in here. Because that'll destroy this entire thing. So you do it one at a time. You put one redstone. You put another redstone. And as you can see, it goes in. And it basically goes through all these different pistons. And it basically turns it into creeper heads over here. Which I think we're actually out of creeper heads. But we're not going to be manufacturing creeper heads. We need to make something... A little bit more useful so uh, James since you're kind of the owner of this place what would you like the manufacture here that's not creeper heads okay you know what? that's actually a really good idea so James gave me a really good idea and he wants to manufacture barrels I don't actually know where barrels are at uh, oh here they are so we're gonna manufacture barrels here so if I just grab like a bunch of barrels, I might as well just clear the inventory, fill it up with barrels. Oh, oops. I, I grabbed too many. There we go. We'll pick up these and we'll put all the barrels in here. So all the barrels go inside of here. As you can see, it's full of barrels. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out what barrels are made out of. Now, I'm pretty sure the recipe for barrels is I think it's like some slabs and maybe sticks or it's wood. It's one of those. But for the raw material, we're just going to bring in oak logs. Oak logs is going to be the raw material. Or basically any kind of wood will be the raw material. So I'm just going to take uh, like uh, a few pieces of wood here. Put them in here just to kind of show you how this works. So as you can see, the wood's going to go through. And it should come out over here where James is at his barrels. Uh, we just have to wait for it to come through. Here they come. Okay, here comes all the barrels. As you can see, barrels are coming through. And then they should go into... Oh, I don't have a truck out here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and connect up this truck to here. The uh, door is normally supposed to be closed. But if I can get it to go... Oh, great. All right, so because I don't have the door closed, I'm just going to temporarily put a piece of wood there. But this should... Let's see. Are the barrels... Where are the barrels? Where do these barrels go? Wait, are they like... Oh, wait. They're in here. Because this lever. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. So, for a second, I thought they got stuck in, like, the elevator. No. They got stuck in the hopper because I had a random lever sitting there. Now they should be in here. There we go. Okay. So, it does work. As you can see, we made 11 barrels. So, that works, which is good. I just have to cover this up now. So, let's go ahead and put that right there there we go so there should be no more levers unless that'll cause problems which i don't think it will i don't think it is because it's going through as you can see if i grab this yeah so it is going through perfect okay so that's not going to cause any problems uh that's going to cause problems so go ahead and get rid of that real quick so this is working now the next thing i want to do is i want to work on getting some lights now i had a really cool idea for putting like some lights on the ground so i want to get like some colors i don't really know which colors uh james color ideas green and white of course you, you want green and white sure it's uh it's james's factory so uh let me go and get some green and white glass yeah so i'm just gonna get lime green and white and then for the lights i guess i could do glowstone I might just make it easier because if I use redstone lamps then I have to go and get redstone for that and I've already got plenty of redstone around here and I don't want to mess with it so we're just gonna use glowstone we don't need any kind of any kind of redstone or anything for this we just have to put the glowstone down so right here going to be glowstone layer 
So glowstone is going to be all the way along here. Now, this is going to be like a lot of glowstone. But glowstone is pretty easy to get, especially if you have like a, a silk touch pickaxe. But we're going to do like a three block pattern like this. Oops. Sorry, James. I think that's like the second time I've punched James. Oh, great. Uh, but here is going to be the light. So we have this really cool kind of like light strip here. That's going to go all the way along here. Because as you can see, it's a little dark. So I just want to put like this quick little light strip of glowstone. That way, hopefully no more mobs spawn in here. Which is how James got here. He just kind of randomly spawned in. And uh, now he's the owner of the factory. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some more lime green and white. And we have just enough to finish the entire pattern which is good i guess i could extend it this way like another three blocks like that oh and that's the redstone right there so this actually works out well so let's go ahead and put that there put that back and let me grab oh those are slabs yeah it kind of has to be slabs so let's put the slab there and now we've got the light set up i could do like a wait why is this one this one's missing glowstone. There we go. So let's go ahead and put that back. And now we've got a nice row of lights there. Should I put some over here? Maybe. I might put some here. You really need to leave. Can you just like go out the door? Wait, we don't need you in here. Just uh, We'll just push you out here. Okay. There we go. I got the uh, wandering trader out so I can actually work on building the lights so i think for this side i'm gonna do kind of the same pattern but i'm gonna do like two blocks and then over here uh let's say it starts on this block right here so i'm gonna go all the way down here to is it here or here now here's the spot and i'm pretty sure this isn't needed anymore so i'm just gonna go and get rid of that redstone so now all i have to do is put glowstone all the way along here and then i'll show you what i'm gonna do for the other section all right so i just put that in now i need to put all of the glass in so over there it starts with green so we're just gonna do the same three blocks oh great james you're you're in the way i'm just gonna continue on i'll come back to that block later on uh, but let's go ahead and put all the glass all the way until the end here. And at the end, we're going to switch our pattern over to like four blocks. Let's see. Will this work or do I have to do it by twos? I might have to do it by two blocks. We'll see what happens when I get to the end here. Yeah, I had a feeling this was, this is going to happen. So if I were to like move this here, get rid of this and put andesite there. I think that should be fine. So we've got our nice kind of like glass walkway here. I might do like double walkways or I can keep it like this. I kind of like the strip because it uses less, uh, but it does kind of like look odd when you're transitioning from like a double path to like a single path. I think it should be good. Over here, I think there should be enough light. I could put like some torches or something up on the side here. But I'm pretty sure there should be enough light so nothing spawns. I guess we'll find out if things randomly start spawning in here. But I think that's basically going to be it for the factory. As you can see, we've got this all working. You throw whatever item in here, like uh, wood. Uh, let me go ahead and do the tracks real quick. I just remembered that. So outside, I haven't quite finished the tracks. Oh, uh, looks like the wandering traders moved over here to the rocket ship, which is good. So he's having a nice fun time now that he's outside of the factory. But these tracks, eventually, I will connect them up to that place over there. Which, that should be fun. So that's what I'm going to do next episode, is connecting that to this. So we can use that. Oh, forgot all the barrels were in there. But this needs to go... Oh, where should this go? I guess it could go straight this way. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that for next episode. I think this looks pretty good. Uh, this right here, I don't know if there's really any good way of fixing that. I guess it just has to stay like that, which is fine. Uh, but we've got our entrance here, which we've got two places to where the trucks can come in at. Which, I don't actually know where they're going to come in from. 
Yeah, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with those tracks next episode. But that's basically going to be it for the Minecraft factory. I, I did a, a quick little tour showing you how it all works. James is now the owner, which is cool. He can now produce uh, barrels. We're basically making barrels for uh, all the villagers or anyone who wants storage. But that's basically what we're making here. We're making a bunch of barrels. We've got a nice large parking lot for all the employees that come. Hopefully, James hires some people. But I think that's basically going to be it for today. So, I'm going to go and end the episode here. So, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.